We have one more comic for Ow! you, comedian. Uh, first of all, give up for everybody else you've seen so far. Yeah! Woo! Give it up for yourselves yeah! for sticking with us and being a great crowd. Now we have your headliner. She is going to close it out. Okay. She's very funny. She performs all over town at the Fourth Wall Cafe, the Hollywood Pro Improv. And she's here with us tonight for the very first time. Please let's give it up for the very funny and talented and lovely Miss Jessica Alani. Thank you, everybody here. I love when people move closer. It's amazing. Um, yeah, you guys, today, uh, I recently got dumped. Yeah, I'm single. Well, I say recently. It was three years ago, but time's not real, so I can say recently, right? I recently got dumped, and uh, when you're single in your 30s, people treat it like a disease, like a cancer. That they are just like, oh, praying you get through. Like, our father, whose Venus is in retrograde, please help her. Like, they just really hope you come out the other side of it, you know? And people who are in relationships love to give advice. They do. And the fa their favorite thing to say to you is, well, you know, when you least expect it, it'll happen. <laughs> Dude, consider me Michelle Yeoh. I'm expecting everything everywhere all at once. You know what I mean? Like, I'm ready for every situation and how it's going to play out. Like, I've thought about it, and if it doesn't go that way, I know how else it can go. And if it doesn't go that way, I've got, like, five other routes that this could possibly go. Like, I'm ready for everything. Are you kidding me? The last time I wasn't ready for something was March 2020. And even then, like, your chick had an idea. You know what I mean? Like, I had a feeling something was going to happen. <laughs> It's wild. I have realized, though, by dating, I have a bias against my own people, which are short people. You know, some people prefer Mexicans, some prefer Salvadorians. I prefer men who are 5'10 and above. Sue me for wanting my kids to have a shot at being average height, you know what Where I mean? Where are you going? <laughs> like, I'm 4'11". If I date somebody who's six feet tall, we're going to average, like, what, 5'7 and a half or something? 5'6 and a half? Like, that half matters, you know? <laughs> Size doesn't really matter, but that half sure makes a difference. <laughs> so, I know that while I'm dating, I'll take advice. I appreciate it. I just won't take advice from my mom, because her advice, it's always the same. It's always, Jessica, you're 33. Just settle. <laughs> just settle. Oh my God. <laughs> It's like, well, okay, don't settle, but lower your expectations. I'm like, that's worse. That's worse advice. Like, most parents are like, shoot for the stars because you deserve nothing but the best. And my mom is like, shoot for mediocrity and just keep your fingers crossed. Yeah. It's not great. That's what, kind of the path I'm going on right now, you know? She's cool. The older you get, you do realize that your parents kind of become your best friends. You're like, man, you're kind of cool. Well, my mom is more like that friend you don't see often. So you call and you're like, hey, we should hang out. And then 10 minutes in, you're like, Oof, fuck. I remember why we don't <laughs> hang out. Yeah. She's like that friend to me. She's like that. I do have a lot of respect for her, though. You know, she raised me and my three older siblings by herself. She got us through high school, through college. Between the four of us, like three of us have master's degrees. Mm. Obviously, you can guess which one does not have a master's <laughs> degree. I, uh, I am the youngest of the four. And, you know, the youngest we're always referred to as the mistake, the accident. Uh, obviously, the ones who become comedians, you know, mm -hmm. that's usually our traits. Um, I have my older siblings. They're really cool. They affectionately describe me to people as uh, someone who charts her own path. Which sounds nice, right? Until you think about it, and they basically just called me a loose cannon who has like no clear direction in her life. Which is fair, because honestly, I'm just as like, I'm worried just as they are of what's gonna happen with this. So it's a game for all of us at this point, to be honest. Uh, speaking of games, my favorite one to play recently or now is uh, what was my mom doing when she was my age? Because it's fun, you should try it sometime. <laughs> 
When my mom was 33, she had two kids, a husband, a house, and a career. Me, no husband, no house, unemployed, and I gave myself a black eye the other day by dropping my phone on my face. So, a little different. Like, she was managing a house and humans. I managed to set my jacket on fire at the bar the other day, soberly. So, I guess that's just me charting my own path, though, you know? Just doing what my siblings said. She's great. My siblings are cool. Anybody have siblings here? Yeah. Woo! It's nice. It's nice to be able to, like, you know, pinpoint where your trauma comes from. Mm. It's really nice. It's good for therapy. I am in therapy right now, and I like my therapist, you know? She's my age, so it's really easy to talk to her and, like, open up. I feel comfortable. Uh, I just think sometimes she forgets she's being paid to do a job when we talk, because it ends up, like, just two girlfriends <laughs> shooting this shit, you know, after a while. Like, the other day, she came in to our call and was like, Jessica, I am so annoyed today. And I was like, oh, you first. Yeah, you go ahead. You go first. I'll, uh, if there's time, I'll talk about my you know, issues, but go ahead. But you know what? I was in a sorority in college, so I'm used to paying for my friends. So it honestly feels natural to me. Yeah, exactly. It feels good. It feels yeah. right. It feels like a good combination. <laughs> I am unemployed, I'm recently unemployed, and uh, you know, people, they like to ask, they're like, well, what are you gonna do for money? Which is a fair question, but I have it figured out. Uh, I'm gonna start getting residuals like actors do from all the guys that I've dated. Like, if you've seen me naked and thought about it after, pay me, pay me. Like, if we've had sex and that's played in your head like an old office rerun, I'm gonna send you an invoice, dude. I accept cash, check, Venmo, whatever. I got it. Like, imagine, the guys I sent nudes to who never deleted it out of their phone, that's a monthly residual coming into my bank account, okay? Like, not to be, you know, brag or anything, but it, with that money, I'd be able to buy, like, organic, okay? Like, I would get some good stuff. And I know there's people who are like, nudes? Oh, I would never... I'm like, oh, you're so boring. What do you do with your life? Come on, it's fun. And they're like, well, Jessica, what if it ends up on the internet, you know? And then you could never do things like run for a political office. I'm like, babe, I've got an arrest record and like a punch card at Planned Parenthood, dude. Like, that's not going to be the thing that keeps me down. I promise you. I promise you that. And they're like, well, what if, you know, he passes it around and shows his friends? Babe, I'm single and I'm unemployed, okay? Consider it a business card. What are we talking about right now? Come on. Like, that's literally, please, help a girl out. I'm trying here. I think this will be a good thing for me. Um, I guess the last thing, okay, I am from Texas. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fun being from Texas. My friends and family are always like, Jessica, when are you going to move back? I'm like, I don't know. I like that you can buy weed legally here. That's a win. Yeah. You can buy liquor at CVS, which you cannot do in Texas. And I don't know, just being treated like a full human being yeah. who's capable of making decisions about yes. my own body is also really nice. Yeah. So I don't know, like, sure, they may not have state income tax, but like, is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? I don't know. I would rather take an edible at the end of the day than have a house, I guess. That's maybe what I would go to. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks y'all for sticking yeah. around. This has been so fun. Yeah. I love having these. Have a good one. Thank you guys so Very much. Did you enjoy good. the show? Yeah. yeah. All right, Great comics, show. you guys hang around. After everybody leaves, we need you to come to the oh. stage. Mm.